Click on any engine without an X to start playing a new game. Now, choose your level. Click here to play the easy level. Click on the engine to start the story, or click on the track to play an extra game. It was a sunny spring morning on the island of Sodor. Over at the engine shed, everyone was very excited. Sir Topham Hat had a very important job for one of his engines. A shipment of animals for the zoo has just arrived. I need a reliable engine to deliver them from Brendan Docks to the zoo right away. I can do it, said Thomas. But James also wanted to deliver the animals, because he loved to do important jobs. Can I please take the animals? said James. I will be very careful. Thomas could tell that James really wanted to do the job, so he agreed to let James take his place. You can go, James, said Thomas. But you must promise to go straight there, warned Sir Topham Hatt. James was very happy. Of course, he said, puffing out a big cloud of steam. You can rely on me. Sir Topham Hatt was pleased that Thomas had been so kind to James. You are a really useful engine, Thomas. I know you would like to help, too. So you can go to the station by the zoo to help James when he arrives, he said. Yes, sir said Thomas. It is a big load, James. You will need some help, said Sir Topham Hatt. But who could he get to do it? Who do you think can help James deliver the animals? Try again. Yes, that's right. The troublesome trucks can help James. Oh no, groaned James. Not the troublesome trucks. Yes, James, said Sir Topham Hatt. You will have to make sure they behave themselves. All right, grumbled James. But how many trucks will I need? There is a giraffe, a zebra, an ostrich, an elephant, and a kangaroo to be delivered to the zoo, said Sir Topham Hatt. Two animals can go in each truck except for the elephant. She's very big and will need her own truck, he said. So that means I'll need three, said James. And he tooted three times on his whistle. Click on three trucks to continue the story. That's right! Well done! Count one, two, three as the trucks are illuminated. Back at the shed, the troublesome trucks were being their usual troublesome selves. James, said the trucks, you know the way to the docks. We don't want to get lost. Of course, puffed James proudly. I could find the way with my eyes closed. The trucks grumbled and ground their wheels together, making James's job very difficult. 
Come on, said James. I can't waste any more time. I mustn't be late. James has to hitch up the troublesome trucks, but the track isn't finished. Fill in the gaps in the track using the pieces at the bottom of the screen. When you've filled them all, click on the arrow button to connect the troublesome trucks. Just click on any piece of track to start playing. Well done! You've finished the track! Now, click on the flashing blue arrow button. Here we go! Well done! You've finished the track! Now, click on the flashing blue arrow button. Here we go! Well done! You've finished the track! Now, click on the flashing blue arrow button. Here we go! Well done! You've finished the track! Now, click on the flashing blue arrow button. Here we go! Good job! You've finished the game! Now James is ready to go! James hitched up the troublesome trucks and started on his journey. He was very happy that he had been given such an important job to do. The trucks teased James. Going to get lost! Going to get lost! As they clanked along. James wasn't listening. This job is so easy, he puffed. I'm the most important engine on the island. <laughs> faster and faster he went. Every time he went round a corner or through a tunnel, he gave a long blast on his whistle to show everyone what an important job he was doing. When he reached the docks, he was in for a big surprise. Instead of one boat, there were five. How could he find out which one held the animals? Can you help James find which... No.
Not quite. Try again. Try again. Yes, that's the one. James was pleased that he had found the right boat, and he rolled down the track to where it was waiting. Far above, he could just see the animals on the deck. But how was he going to get the animals from the boat into the trucks? He looked around to see who could help. Who do you think can help James? Click on the one who can lift the animals from the boat into the trucks. Yes, of course! Cranky the Crane can do it! Cranky, James tooted. I'm glad you're here to help. But Cranky was being cranky. Come on, he snapped. I haven't got all day. So James pushed and pulled the trucks until they were in the right place. Now, said Cranky, which crate is for which animal? James was confused. He had no idea that each animal would need a different crate. You silly steamy, cranked Cranky. Don't you know which crates I need to use? If you can't tell me, who can? Cranky is going to help James transport the animals from the boat to the trucks. There are five different crates and five different animals. Look at the animal, then listen and click on the crate you hear described. The kangaroo needs a long wooden box. The kangaroo needs a long... Oops! Listen and try another one. The kangaroo needs a... Sorry! That's for a different animal. Listen and try again. The kangaroo needs a long wooden box. Yes! That's the right one! Now you need to make the crate to carry the animal. Click on the pieces and drop them in the right place to make the correct shape. Fantastic! You've done it! Look, Frankie's throwing the kangaroo. The ostrich will need a wire cage with yellow stripes. The ostrich will need a wire cage with yellow stripes. Fantastic! You've got it! Well done! you finished! Can you see? The ostrich is coming! <laughs> the elephant needs a big metal cage. Good job! That's the one you need! Well done! You've finished!
Down comes the elephant. The zebra needs a red sling. Oh dear, that's not for that animal. Listen and choose another one. The zebra needs a red sling. Fantastic! You've got it! Fantastic! You've done it! Hooray! Here comes the zebra! The giraffe needs a tall wooden box. Well done! That's the right one! Fantastic! You've done it! Look, they're lowering the giraffe! Splendid! All the animals are safely in the trucks. Now James can be on his way. Story Once all the animals were safely in the trucks and the crates removed, James pulled slowly out of the docks, being careful not to frighten the animals. He was very proud that he had been chosen to do such an important job. I'm the best! I'm the best! He puffed. Then he had an idea. What if he went to see his friend Bertie on the way? He knew it wasn't the way he was supposed to go, but it wouldn't take long. If he went through Knapford, Bertie could see the animals and he would know what an important engine James was. So when James arrived at the next junction, he decided to go to Knapford instead of straight to the zoo. You know which one of these is Birdie? Click on the one you think is Birdie. Well done! Of course that's Birdie! <laughs> James chugged merrily through the countryside. He was thinking how surprised Birdie would be when he saw the animals. Back. <laughs> then he came to another junction. He looked to the left and looked to the right. But which way was it to Napford? He couldn't remember. Both tracks looked very familiar. In the end, he decided to go straight. <coughs> Click on the switch lever to make James go straight. <coughs> James was happy that he was going to see his friend Bertie. He also thought about how pleased Sir Tobamat would be when he 